Hey guys, it is Sunday. My SWR Sports Weekend Review. <laughs> you probably know what I'm going to jump into off the back, but first and first off, let's get other things to take care of first. Anywho, haven't heard much news in NASCAR or in uh, NHRA yet. I mean, like I say, I'm going to wait until the uh, football season's over and and uh, and uh, and uh, then I'll get back on them. But for WWE, let's check it out because I haven't heard much of what's going on there. Oh, actually, I do. Daniel Bryan has entered himself in the Royal Rumble. I've been having his neck surgery and all that, uh, all those other problems. It's been happening, so that's big news. Well, finally, the WWE Network coming to the UK and and Ireland is official on January 19th. So finally, the uh, UK's got its WWE Network now. Yet, because 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 they're going to say that they're going to get them. Look what happened. They <laughs> yet again. It's so yeah. Okay. And I don't see no raw preview here. Let me see. They got a total the Divas backdrop here. <laughs> Probably a, a new season thing. Alright. Raw's first... Oh, that's right. Yeah, ambulance match. Raw's first ambulance match between Danny D Ambrose and uh, Bray Wyatt. So maybe this could be a match for a, a War Rumble qualifying match. It, I mean... For a spot, I mean, it's hard to say, but it is. I mean, just then that comes in, in the whole rumble. Never know who's going to appear. And plus, so I don't. And, and plus, I don't have a guess of who's going to win this year. It, it's a toss-up, pretty much. So, probably the favorites right now are uh, Roman Reigns and uh, Daniel Bryan, and probably D. Ambrose. Those are my three picks for Paul win it. But um but as far as uh others, um Yeah, Seth Rawls, I can't see him winning it because he's got the money in the bank. Um if uh, John Cena fails to uh, beat Brock Lesnar at the Bull Rumble, he won't make an appearance. I I know that. Um As far as other favorites, uh, Dolph Ziegler, I don't think he'll do it, but never know. So but and also on Raw, the Authority came back. So so much for a uh, one month <laughs> with no Authority, uh, but well, well, I mean o over a month. But uh, it just they they just kind of left for a while, and they came right back. So they're back, just like the corporation. So how it all turns out, you never know that they might have a plan for the World Rumble. We'll just have to wait on Raw. And now for wrestling, NFL playoffs have been set yet again. This time f f for the division playoffs. I'll, here, let me break them down for you here. All right. All right, Saturday, two playoff games this Saturday. It's Ravens and the Patriots at 1.35 my time on NBC. And the game I'm keeping my eyes on because of... <laughs> it's the Carolina Panthers against my Seattle Seahawks in, in, in the and the 12th man on Fox at 5.15 my time, uh, uh, Pacific time. Then Sunday at 10.05 my time, Pacific, on Fox, it will be the Dallas Cowboys versus the Green Bay Packers after Dallas won by 6 t t t t today. 
And then the Indianapolis Colts will face the Denver Broncos at 140 on CBS. My time. Pacific time. Great matchups there. But still, I'm picking it as the Final Four to, to actually be in the... Uh, um, and till the Super Bowl hits, well, well, the division championships will be S Seattle against the Packers rematch from Week One. And it'll be the Patriots against the Broncos. Those are my picks, my Final Four that I will meet. So can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait for the Seahawks to uh, beat Cam's. Uh, uh, can scam Newton. <laughs> I love to see that happening on the Hawk. I mean, on uh, uh, Central Link Field. Can't, I can't wait for Cam Newton to face the twelfth man. First time he's won't go in there, so <laughs> it'll be experience. So yeah, which uh, which the record doesn't look good for the Panthers though. They're seven and eight, and the Seattle's twelve and four. Ravens are ten and six. Patriots are tw twelve and four. That might be a good game there, but I think the Patriots will take it. And the Cowboys and the Packers have the same record. Not kidding you. They are both twelve and four, and get this, they are both eight and zero away at home. What a match! <laughs> and then the Colts are eleven and five. The Broncos are twelve and four. So, and, and, and plus that, the Broncos are. 8-0 at home. So, there you have it. That's how it's going to break down for the just just four games until the Super Bowl. 49 and it held in Glendale. So now that's all set. Now, NBA. Well, Portland was doing pretty good until Atlanta got all over them uh, last night. But hey, that's okay. Tough team, I'll take it. It's not like we're losing to a weak team. Then I'd, then I'd be upset. <laughs> but, but yeah, Atlanta, I mean, I'll give to respect. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not, uh, I mean, they beat us, they beat us. It's just the way the game was. So, But this is a team I do not like and, and I do not respect. The LA Lakers, Monday, tomorrow. Kobe's going down again after what happened there last year because last year Lakers were there and they beat the Blazers. It won't happen again. It'll, it'll be a little bit of time. Guarantee it. I don't want to see the Lakers win there again. So, and plus I'll give you the uh, rundown too on, on the Playoffs. I mean, well, the of the Eastern and, and uh, West Conference, of the Eastern and the West Conference top eight. So right now, Atlanta's in the number one. Then it's Chicago, then then Toronto, Washington, Cleveland, Milwaukee, Brooklyn, and Miami. Those are the top eight in the East. Now in the top, now the top uh, in the West is Golden State, Portland. They haven't lost anything. Memphis, Dallas, Houston, the Clippers, San Antonio, and Phoenix. Those are the top eight so far. And who's on the uh, so who's the most winning in a row here? Let's see here. Not all of them. Well, it's a tie between. Uh, Dallas and Detroit, which Detroit's out of the top eight. They got five wins in a row. And the most is also a tie between of uh, between New York and Minnesota. They lost 11, 11 in a row. Mm, that hurts. So 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 uh, Portland's tied with the uh, Golden uh, with the Warriors. The uh, Portland's twenty six and. Eight and the Warriors are twenty six and five, so it's close still. I mean, no, I mean it's no comfortable margin. And then Portland's ahead of um, Memphis by two wins. So, hey, Portland's still in second, looking good. That's that's cool. So I mean, just uh, 
just uh, not it's just an, not as long as they decks go on a dry spill, then they'll be fine. We'll be right there above the top four and have home court advantage when the playoffs hit. And I'll tell you what time they face the Lakers. You probably will not get it for an in national television. Yeah, they face them at 7 on KGW, which is here. But, I mean, a Portland channel. So, yeah. And plus, after that, a nationally televised game on Thursday when they face the Heat. Better be tuned in for that one. Blazers are with the Heat. Because they have no James. And they are not doing so good right now. <laughs> so... Say off of that, the moment I want to get to and what I want to talk about. Go Rose Bowl. <laughs> the Ducks is tempo. Florida State just couldn't handle it. They, they couldn't handle it. And that's how they lost. Over 40 points. 40! points over no one no nobody expected that to happen so now FSU just got a taste of what Hurricane can really do because I think this was the first time or the Ducks faced FSU in history I think and, and if it was they probably don't want to face Oregon again. <laughs> but the thing that would, would uh, bother me with the uh, FSU. Wow, 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 wow. FSU football is a bunch of sore losers. Because they, because they, be, because they didn't show any sportsmanship after the game. I mean, some players have, but not a lot of them have them because they because they're a winning team. And it happens, but still you think, but but still you can think they can show a little bit more sportsmanship, ship and towards the game, which I understand it's a pressure game, it's a playoffs and all that stuff. But still, that I mean that doesn't make their program look good when they don't do that. So. And plus, Oregon got in trouble too. Uh, th three players from Oregon were chanting about what Winston's uh, 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 rape thing they're investigating. So, and uh, Mark, you know, Mark, uh, the coach of uh, Mark uh, Telfrich, uh, uh took uh, took action. So, I don't know what happened. So, I haven't heard anything. But, but anywho, Oregon's opponent is the Ohio State Buckeyes. After what, what they, I mean, they, st Bama was surprised. I mean, they were just stunned of of what the Buckeyes can do with a third quarterback. A third, st st third uh, st string quarterback. And they beat number one team, the Alabama Crimson Tide. FSU, I mean, look, OSU's got a pretty good uh, quarterback program, I tell ya. They're jacked on that. But that doesn't mean they're going to be the Ducks. Because the Ducks got the momentum. Because you know what Urban Meyer, during the press conference, once said somebody say how much Oregon won by, you've seen the fear right in his eye, right there, after he raised those eyebrows. <laughs> the Ducks got momentum heading into Dallas for the national championship. Seeking their first national championship after it was taken away in 2010 by a very close contra controversial call of a running play that, that ended the, the chances for them to get their first trophy. But this time, it's not going to happen again. And plus, I found a, a a weird connection to this when the when the Ducks faced um, a, a SEC team in their 2010 for the first national championship trip. Um, 
they actually beat Tennessee in uh, week two. Then they faced Auburn, national title. But this year, they actually faced Michigan, uh, I mean, MSU in the second week. And they're facing a Big Ten college the national championship. Kind of weird, huh? Kind of how that all sets up there, but... Bet you know... The same result will not happen up in the SEC. Even though the record says the Buckeyes are 8-0 against the Ducks, but that doesn't mean anything. That's in the past, this is now. The Ducks are a totally different team than they were back then. And they got the momentum. They got the Heisman winner. They're ready. And I'm ready for this. So ready. And plus, I'm going to tell you, down my uh, neighborhood, down the, uh, uh, well, I mean, up the uh, uh, street, got some uh, FSU fans at a, I think it is, yeah, just one house. The, uh, the, uh, uh, and the reason I can tell because the, the, they got a mailbox painted uh, red and gold with the FSU logo on their mailbox. I bet they were on, I bet they felt real lonely on the Rose Bowl. <laughs> I didn't yell anything or anything like that. I just, uh, it's okay. Because everybody needs to turn to green and yellow right here in Oregon. It's just what has to be done. Because, heck, I mean, heck, even Beaver fans are going to watch the national, national championship. Room, room for the Ducks. So, and plus, I want to bring a one little joke to uh, my cousin uh, Jerry. Uh, told us in a text that uh, when, uh, when the. Uh, when the uh, Seminoles hold up four fingers for the fourth quarter to actually uh, begin. Anyway, what he said, holding up those four fingers, they're just like, they're just letting everybody know of how many turnovers they had. <laughs> Which actually came to total of five, but yeah, but during that time it was four turnovers, but yeah. <laughs> but you know. So, National Championship, got to watch it, guys. It's on Monday. You, you actually know the drill, what time it comes on. Be ready. Because, you know, I will. Because I'll be doing my SWR right after the game. Because the Ducks got this. They can win the day and get that National Championship. I can smell it. And they can smell it. Same. On uh, college basketball, Gonzaga won their game with, their, with uh, one of their conference rivals, uh, Portland Pilots. Uh, uh, it was a close one uh, that the uh, Pilots came back, but uh, Gonzaga held them off last night. And plus, a Civil War round one, and the Ducks took took t t took care of those no good Beavers. So that was a great. Uh, it, well, a good win for them because after having two close games with a two with a two division two colleges overtime games and they win, that's not good. Because I was afraid that the Ducks were going to lose this game after having that type of having those type of games, but but they but they got their confidence back and and uh, and next they're they're actually ready for number three Arizona, which I'm going to check on that what time that one's. Be, uh, begins. Arizona beat their rivals. T -t today. Yep, it's at 7.30, which I'm assuming is probably on Pac-12 Network. So, I... Uh, yeah. Late game, we'll probably get to see it. Oh, him what happens. But hey, it's Pac-12 Network. They got the money for their games, so what can you do? 
So guys, here's my and guys, here's my choice. I mean, music choice of the week. I actually won't be playing it, but but here is a link right here. And and plus, there's a another link of of a of a of a where it's been where it has been used a lot in games. So I'll just so I'll just let you check it check it out. That's the main song. This is the um, uh, where they play in uh, 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 stadiums. Football that is. So, so just go check it out. So anyway, video's coming next. Um, don't no worries. I got my NASCAR uh, 2005 Chief Cup by the top mode uh, going on. Uh, WWE 2K15. I'll be on the uh, who uh, who got NXT uh, mode. I'll be back on on that as well. Uh, work it work is kind of. Hectic these days. I mean, I'm getting a lot of hours in. It's really, well, if well, if affecting my camera time for recording all that stuff. So yeah, I will, I will probably tire this week, but I'll try to get those in as I can. And plus, uh, more of that college uh, of a it's really a football 2005. I'm almost done with it. I well, I haven't played with it all a week. I don't know why. I've just I just been tired all this week. I'm sorry about that, but just it's I mean just the way it's been. And plus. I got an, another game too. Actually, got for Christmas. I'm I'm going to show off too. Is this game NBA 2K15? I've been playing it for a little bit, and kind of say I'm not a big fan of these uh, NBA games. But my brother got it for me for Christmas, so I'll just let you watch games as it, as I uh, usually do on my N NBA games. So that's what I'm going to do on, on this one. Not too soon. So that's it. So I hope you guys had a good New Year. Hopefully you didn't get hammered hard. So, so yeah. But so like like I said, just do what you know what's right. Just do it, okay? Just be smart. Do what you gotta do. That's pretty much what. Well, that's pretty much what all it is. So, so anyway. Never tune in for the national championship on Monday because the Ducks got this. Because they can win the day. Take care, guys.